we looked at the basic theory in the previous video in the other method. So we, if we have a first order differential equation uh, given the initial value problem, then we can write the solution like this, where we approximate this integrand using the other method, which is evaluated at its left endpoint. So right now we are looking at the improved other method. And so what we do is instead of evaluating the integrand at its left end point, which is what we do in the other method, we get a better approximate formula, which we obtain by replacing the integrand with the average of its values at the two endpoints. So if I go back to the figure that we had previously, so instead of just taking the value of the function at this point, we take the value of the function at this point and at this point, and then take the average of those two values. So this gives us the improved Euler formula, which is yn plus one is equals to yn plus h times this uh, quantity here. So h is the step size, fn is the value of the derivative or the slope at yn, and f is again evaluated, the slope is again evaluated for tn plus h and for yn plus uh, yn plus h times fn, which is basically y uh, the next one, so yn plus one basically. And this value we basically get using the Euler method, and then we feed that into this formula, this gives us an improved method. So just for example, uh, in the first iteration, if we start with the initial value y0 or y0, and then we estimate the derivative at the two points, then using those values from the Euler formula, we get this one. So y1 is then equals to y0, which is the initial value h by 2, step size divided by 2 here. And then this one is the derivative y prime evaluated at the initial values. And then this one is a derivative evaluated at t1 and y1. And the value of y1 we get using the Euler formula. And likewise, we can get the second iteration like this, and we can go on to as long as we need to solve for. So I am going to do this for the same two equations that I did for the other video. So we have first one is y prime equals to 1 plus t times y square, and the second one is y prime equals to y square plus 2ty divided by 3 plus t square. So let's start with the first one. So we define the derivative uh, in the object named f prime. The initial conditions are t naught equals to 0, y naught equals to 1, and I'll be solving it with a step size of 0 0.1 until time t equals to 0 0.4. So now let's implement this uh, improved Euler method in a loop. So in the very first iteration, so if i is less than 1, so in the first iteration i is going to be 0, and so it's going to run this block of code. So what it does it is it first assigns the initial values to t and y that we have started with, and then we use the Euler method, so we substitute that initial value of t and y into the slope, and we evaluate and we get the value of uh, y1. Now using that value, we use the other method and get the value of y, which is y0 plus h times f evaluated at 0, t0. Now we use this value of y, which is y estimated, I've just named here, in the second step. So we update the value of t, so it's t0 plus h, and then we evaluate uh, the value of the derivative at t0 plus h here, and at y, which is y estimated, and then we have two values of the derivative, right? So we have this this one and we have this quantity here. And so we can get y1 is equals to yn, which is y0 in our first iteration, h by 2, which is h by 2 here. And then function 0 and function 1 basically refer to the derivative at t naught y naught and the derivative at t1 and y1. And then in the second iteration, when i is equals to 1 in this case, it's going to run this block of code for all of the remaining iterations. So it starts with the first one, which is the derivative, uh, again, function 0 is equals to the f prime. Instead, it's, it's now evaluating it at tn and yn. So the last t that we had is this one, tn plus h. And the last y we had is this one, this yn. And this gives us a value of y est uh, estimated, or the next y that we would get using the simple Euler formula. And then we use these values of y's and these values of the functions. We get the derivative uh, again evaluated using this estimated y, and then we take the average of these two functions, function 0, function 1, which are basically the, the derivatives, and use this simple formula, and this gives us our next iteration. And then we have a bunch of print instructions that show us what's going on in the loop. So if I run this loop, so in the very first iteration, when uh, t is equal to 0 0.2 here, because the first step is uh, taking the values from the Euler equation, and then from the second step, when t equals to 2, we, we approximate using the improved Euler method. And this gives us a value of y, uh, or the solution function to be 1.11 at this point, and the derivative to be this much. And then uh, it goes uh, up to t equals to 0 0.6, and this gives us these values of the function. So this is just a simple demonstration of how we can use the improved Euler method to solve uh, first order differential equations. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.